Today's story is my friend Pichu, and I'm going to try and pronounce the author, Jeanette Onfus. I may have pronounced it wrong. I apologize if I did, but it was one of my kids' favorite stories when they were little. My friend Pichu. Hello, my name is Joanna. My friends call me Jojo. This is Pichu. My honest-to-goodness baby aardvark who really eats ants. He was a present from my Aunt Flo. He looks as if he's in a bad mood, but he's really very nice. His moods change with the seasons. It's true, because ants only come out in the summer, and Pichu eats ants. To console him, I offer whispers in his ear. Pichu, dear Pichu, just wait and see. Next summer, the garden's going to be full of ants. Later, after the autumn, when all the leaves have fallen from the tree, after the winter, when the snow has covered the fence, the roof, and the earth, after the spring, when the buds and the flowers and the vegetables in the garden peek out at the sun. Just wait and see. Then it will be summer. Summertime with lots of ants for you, Pichu. Just for you. There are going to be hundreds of millions of billions of ants climbing, digging, walking, running all over the garden and in my sandbox. It's hopeless. He must think summer is never going to come. So my poor Pichu still looks like he's in a bad mood. And all my friends are going to think he's mean. I'm not sure. But sometimes I think maybe he isn't an honest-to-goodness baby aardvark who really eats ants. I even think he's only pretending just to make me happy. I know that Pichu is only a toy, but, but I love him so much. My honest to goodness baby aardvark who really eats ants. <laughs> How about you? Do you have a toy that you talk to? A toy you can tell stories to? A toy who always listens? No matter what. The end. My friend, Pichu.